for a comparison, I have bought out the Jurassic Park Command Compound playset, the Jurassic World Chaos Outpost playset, and the Schleek Dino Research playset. So I've got the Jurassic Park Command Compound there. And that kind of connects on to the Chaos Outpost around the back. And then the other side of the Chaos Outpost, I've connected the Dino Research Station. It's the sign to the East Dock that came with the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus. Be cool if I had the outdoor toilet that comes with Gennaro as well to put in here. There's the two gates next to each other. The new gate is actually almost as big, it just looks a bit smaller because it doesn't have an archway over the top, but the gates themselves are a tiny bit bigger actually than the Jurassic Park ones, which is surprising. They don't clip together, but you can stand them next to each other and it looks pretty good. I mean, it kind of looks like they're connected. And here are those new gates next to the old fencing. Once again, it doesn't connect together, but you can stand them next to each other. And they look quite good. Looks like it's all sort of part of the same play set. Especially with that Jurassic Park tower in the background there too. This is the inside of the Dino Research Station. It's got a sticker on the wall there that's like a computer panel, as well as a computer console in the middle there. And the various walkways along the top. And if you go down here, there's a cage you can keep a dinosaur in. There's ladders and things on the side. And I've put the Chaos Outpost against the side of it there, so it looks like it's all connected going along. Sleek Dino Research Station has a missile launcher as well that can disconnect and be moved around the playset very much like Mattel have done. But the Mattel's missile launchers actually look better. They've got a nice little platform that comes with them there. The original playset has a missile launcher as well that fires. And here's the missile launcher from the Kenner playset as well as the one from the Mattel playset. They've got very similar colouring, so I wonder if that's deliberate, it's kind of a callback, or just coincidence. And that goes along to the tower here. The tower that also has those control monitors in, like the Sleek and the Jurassic Park playsets do. And there's the back of the Chaos Outpost playset and the missile launcher there. And I've kind of put that against the back of the Kenner playset. There's the computer console in the Kenner playset, as well as the egg hatchery. So there's quite a lot going on in this one. And if you go up higher, there's a platform here where figures can stand. And there's more control panels in there, like a first aid kit and things. They're just stickers, but it still looks pretty cool. And it's somewhere for figures to stand. T-Rex! Send Jeep! Send Lens Mile to Hatchery! DNA missing! Check Hatchery! Help! Rent! Check the 
can look out of the top there and there's a walkway. It's designed for taller figures than the Jurassic World ones that are three and three quarter inch. But if anything it kind of makes this seem even bigger in comparison if you have the three and three quarter inch figures with this playset and especially the dinosaurs. So I've got the Giganotosaurus in there. can't even get the whole place set in shot. It makes for a great diorama. The Schleek place that has this crane that lowers food down into the pen, which I think is a really cool detail and there's like a slab of meat that you can put on the end of the hook. I really like the sculpting detail of all the fossils on the Kenner place set here. Kind of goes along either side. There's a lot of battle damage bits you can do here, like this smashes in, that comes off as if the dinosaurs have smashed their way through, that bit there will come off. It'll also smash through there where that Jurassic Park logo is, you can see where it breaks off there. But it's really difficult to get back in, so I'm not going to break it out. And you can also have dinosaurs smash their way through the gates. So there's a wooden beam that breaks in half. You clip it together and you can put it, slide it in there to hold the gate closed. But then if anything wants to break through, those plastic beams will come apart. The gate for the Schleek playset is very different to the Jurassic Park ones, but it looks good. It's kind of a realistic looking, you know, metal fence piece that will open up. And it's got some detailing in there as if a Triceratops has rammed into it. You can see the three horn marks, which is a cool little detail. Sleek Placer also has lots of nice little scratches and battle damage detailing like that. You can see there are cracks sculpted into the glass on the Sleek Placer, which always reminds me of the Indominus Rex paddock, how there were those cracks in the glass where it had been butting into it. And the walkways on this remind me of the walkways along the Velociraptor paddock in Jurassic World. So I feel like this Sleek Placer is very inspired by Jurassic World, and this Placer in turn then inspired the Jurassic World playset. Even though the Chaos Outpost playset doesn't have as much to it, it is actually almost as tall as the Kenner playset. I didn't mention this in my review of the Chaos Outpost, but this flap up here is actually so you can put your mobile phone in it, and if you've got the app in the Jurassic game, you can get that playing and it will play kind of dinosaur sounds and jungle sounds in the background. I didn't actually know that, somebody told me in the comments uh, for my video of the Outpost playset. 
and there's an app code on the computer screen there you can scan to get those sound effects. So I hope you've enjoyed this comparison between these three playsets. I have done separate videos on the Chaos Outpost playset and the Schleep Dino Research Centre, but I thought it'd be fun to just give a bit more of an in-depth look at the three of them all together and show you what a cool Jurassic World playset you can make by joining them up. I just want to thank Dave Newman and Keep On Collecting for sponsoring me on Patreon. Thanks everyone else for watching and I'll see you again soon.